your boyfriend gets a sniffle and suddenly he's dying, needs chicken soup delivered bedside, and has already written his will three times, but when you get the flu you're still expected to show up to work because, it's just a cold Karen. The biological battle of the sexes nobody asked for. Here's a plot twist that would make Darwin do a double take. Women's immune systems are basically Navy SEALs, while men's are more like mall security guards who got distracted by the food court. This isn't some sexist joke your uncle makes at Thanksgiving. This is actual science, backed by decades of research that basically confirms what every woman has suspected since watching her partner act like patient zero of the plague when he gets a runny nose. The numbers don't lie, and they're absolutely brutal for the dudes. Women have a 40% stronger antibody response to flu vaccines, they clear HIV viral loads faster. They survive sepsis at higher rates. Meanwhile, men are out here getting bodied by the common cold, like it's the Black Death Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. A 2016 study from Johns Hopkins found that male mice infected with influenza had viral loads up to 10 times higher than females. That's not a typo, 10 times. The male mice were basically virus factories, while the females were out there playing immune system whack-a-mole. But before all the ladies start victory dancing, hold up. That supercharged immune system comes with a price tag that would make Jeff Bezos wince. Women make up 80% of all autoimmune disease cases. Their immune systems are so aggressive they sometimes decide their own organs look suspicious and need to be eliminated. It's like having a security system so paranoid it occasionally tries to arrest the homeowner. X marks the spot and by spot we mean genetic advantage. Let's talk chromosomes, baby. Women rock two X chromosomes, while men are stuck with one X and one Y, which is basically the genetic equivalent of showing up to a gunfight with a pool noodle. That Y chromosome? It's got about 55 genes on it. The X chromosome? Over 1,000 genes, and about 60 of those bad boys are directly involved in immune function. This is where things get spicy. Having two X chromosomes means women have backup copies of immune genes. If one X has a crappy version of an immune gene, the other X can step in like an understudy who actually knows their lines. Men don't get understudies. They get one shot, and if that gene sucks, well, thoughts and prayers, buddy. Dr. Sabra Klein from Johns Hopkins discovered something wild in 2016. Female cells can actually use both X chromosomes before one gets randomly inactivated. It's called X chromosome inactivation, and it happens in every female cell. But here's the kicker. About 15% of genes escape this inactivation. These escapee genes keep pumping out proteins from both X chromosomes, giving women a double dose of immune firepower. One of these genes, TLR7, is basically the Paul Revere of the immune system, alerting everyone when viruses show up. Women have two copies screaming, the viruses are coming, while men have one guy mumbling into a broken megaphone. The University of California researchers found that this X chromosome advantage shows up immediately, Baby girls in neonatal intensive care units have lower mortality rates than boys. Female infants are 5% more likely to survive their first year of life. Before they can even hold their own heads up, girls are already winning the immune system lottery. Testosterone, the ultimate frenemy. Here's where biology gets absolutely savage to the bros. Testosterone, that hormone men love to brag about, is actively sabotaging their immune systems. It's like hiring a bodyguard who's also secretly working for the enemy. Testosterone suppresses immune function by inhibiting the production of antibodies and reducing the activity of T-cells, which are basically the special forces of your immune system. A Stanford study from 2014 proved this by measuring immune responses to flu vaccines. Men with the highest testosterone levels had the weakest antibody responses. The more manly your hormone levels, the more likely you are to get wrecked by the flu. It's nature's way of saying, weird flex, but, okay. But wait, it gets worse. Testosterone increases the production of anti-inflammatory proteins while decreasing pro-inflammatory ones. Sounds good, right? Wrong. Inflammation is how your body fights infections. Reducing it when you're sick is like bringing a fire extinguisher to a knife fight. Sure, it might help sometimes, but mostly, you're just gonna get stabbed. Meanwhile, estrogen is out here playing immune system cheerleader. It enhances the production of antibodies, increases the number of T-cells, and promotes the production of interferons which are proteins that literally interfere with viral replication. A 2018 study in Science Immunology showed that estrogen can increase antibody production by up to 100%. That's double the immune ammunition just from having different hormones. During pregnancy, this gets even more intense. Pregnant women's immune systems go through more changes than a teenager's mood. First trimester? Inflammation city to help with implantation. Second trimester? Everything calms down so the body doesn't reject the fetus. Third trimester? 
back to high alert to protect against infections that could harm the baby. It's like watching an immune system do CrossFit. The monthly immune system roller coaster nobody talks about. Every month, women's immune systems go on a journey more dramatic than a reality television show. During menstruation, when estrogen and progesterone are low, the immune system is basically running on emergency power. Women are more susceptible to infections during their period, which is probably why evolution also made them want to murder anyone who breathes too loudly during this time. Mid-cycle, around ovulation, estrogen peaks, and the immune system goes into overdrive. A 2017 study from Oxford found that women's immune responses to vaccines are strongest during ovulation. Their bodies are literally preparing for the possibility of pregnancy by becoming fortress-level defended. The downside? This is also when autoimmune symptoms tend to flare up. Your immune system gets so pumped it sometimes starts picking fights with your own thyroid. Then comes the luteal phase, when progesterone takes over. Progesterone is immunosuppressive, which sounds bad but is actually necessary. If the woman gets pregnant, her immune system needs to chill out enough to not attack the embryo like it's an alien invader, which, technically, it kind of is. Half that DNA isn't hers. Birth control pills throw a whole wrench into this system. They keep hormone levels steady, which means no monthly immune fluctuations but also no ovulation boost. A 2019 study found that women on the pill had 20% lower antibody responses to flu vaccines compared to naturally cycling women. It's like putting your immune system on cruise control. Steady, predictable, but missing those turbo boost moments. Man flu is real and science has the receipts. Gentlemen, I have fantastic news. That man flu everyone mocks you for, it's scientifically legitimate. You can now wave peer-reviewed papers in your partner's face while demanding more soup, a 2017 study in the British Medical Journal officially recognized that men experience worse symptoms from respiratory infections. Dr. Kyle Sue from Memorial University of Newfoundland analyzed multiple studies and found that men have higher rates of hospital admissions for flu, higher rates of influenza-associated deaths, and longer recovery times from viral infections. The data showed men were almost twice as likely to die from the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. During the 2004 SARS outbreak, men had a 50% higher mortality rate. COVID-19, men were 2.4 times more likely to die from it. But here's the evolutionary plot twist that'll blow your mind. This male immune weakness might be intentional. From an evolutionary perspective, males in most species are the expendable sex. One male can impregnate multiple females, but females are the limiting factor in reproduction. They carry babies, nurse them, and generally keep the species going. Males? They donate sperm and maybe fight off a predator if they're feeling ambitious. Some researchers theorize that testosterone's immune-suppressing effects are actually beneficial for risk-taking behavior. Lower immune investment means more energy for competing with other males, hunting dangerous prey, and doing stupid stuff to impress potential mates. It's basically evolution saying die young, leave good-looking kids. The University of Cambridge found that men's weaker immune responses might also prevent them from developing as many autoimmune diseases. It's like evolution gave men a mediocre security system that occasionally lets burglars in but at least doesn't randomly attack the furniture. Your gut bacteria are sexist too. Plot twist number 47. Even your gut bacteria discriminate based on sex. The trillions of microbes living in your intestines respond differently to male and female hormones, creating completely different bacterial neighborhoods based on whether you're packing estrogen or testosterone. A 2013 study from the University of Chicago found that male and female mice have distinctly different gut microbiomes, even when raised in identical conditions and fed the same diet. When researchers transplanted male microbiomes into female mice, the female's metabolism changed and they became more susceptible to type 1 diabetes. When they did the reverse, male mice gained some protection against autoimmune conditions. In humans, it's even weirder. Women have greater bacterial diversity in their guts, which generally means better immune function. But here's where it gets interesting. This diversity changes throughout the menstrual cycle. Estrogen promotes the growth of lactobacillus bacteria, the same stuff in yogurt that everyone pretends to enjoy eating. These bacteria produce lactic acid, which creates an acidic environment that kills off pathogenic bacteria. It's like having tiny bouncers in your gut. Men's gut bacteria are more stable but less diverse. They have higher levels of bacteroides, which are great at breaking down protein but terrible at fighting off infections. A 2019 study found that these differences in gut bacteria could account for up to 35% of the sex-based differences in immune responses. Your intestines are literally picking sides in the battle of the sexes. The really mind-blowing part? These gut bacteria can actually influence vaccine effectiveness. 